I will do that now. Once you are signed in, you can go to the dashboard. Here you can access the Jupyter Hub. It's actually a Jupyter Lab, but they're almost the same thing. It's just a slight different interface. It will spin up like this. You may have to select an option if you haven't uh, instigated uh, an instance of this for yourself yet. Um, but I have, so it's just popped straight up. Uh, from here, what I'm going to do is open a terminal environment. This is a command prompt, similar to you would have on any computer if you're familiar with using command line for programming uh, and interacting with your computer system. Uh, from here, I'm going to move into the public directory by typing the command cd, uh, which will move me then into this directory here. We can see what's in there by typing ls. And I'm actually going to use this wekio git clone.sh script, it's a shell script, uh, to clone the repository of the training material that I want to use. So I'm going to do that by typing bash wekio git clone.sh, leaving a space, and then I'm going to paste in the link to the repository that I want to use. And if I hit enter, that script will go away create a git clone of that repository and move it from the temporary space into my home directory. And you can now see that over here on the left and we can access then the various different things that are in there. Um, you have to get a bit of time uh, to install all the different bits of um, code that are coming across. But you will eventually see that when this is resolved um, on the left.